When it comes to cooking meals, drying clothes, heating water, and my home, nothing beats natural gas from Centerpoint Energy. It's my most affordable energy option. It costs less to use than electricity, propane, and heating oil. So if you already have natural gas, keep it. If you're replacing an appliance, choose it. Natural gas, your best choice. Safe and affordable, rest assured. For more on the benefits of a natural gas home, visit centerpointenergy.com slash natural gas benefits. Centerpoint Energy, always there. Chris, you know, it seemed like you know Christian didn't have you know a bad outing for a while, but then you looked up. Next thing you know, you're down you know five runs. What were you seeing from him, and uh, how do you feel like he performed? I know it sounds crazy. I thought he was pretty good, and his stuff was as good as he had all year. It just, you know, we make uh, two errors that cost us about three runs early, and then they the guy sits on the breaker and hits it out. You know, that's really what it came down to. And if you had to fault him, I, I guess you fault the HBP and the walks, but. You know, he was pretty good. And, you know, they've been hot. And they weren't putting a lot of good swings on him until the home run. So, um, you know, that's kind of – I ran him back out there. Usually I take him out, but I, I just thought the stuff was good and they were having a hard time squaring him up. Up next we'll go to Joe Cook. Coach, you just mentioned uh, the errors. Just those mistakes, I guess, how, how big of a difference did they play in the ball game? <clears throat> Well, that was, that was a big part of the game. I mean, obviously, get you know, um, them getting a couple there. The one in the first was funky. Um, you know, a funky ball that hits, and then we don't make the play on the bunt. So we're going to have to be better defensively tomorrow and uh, make everything they get earned. You know, I mean, that's the, that's the toughest part. And I'm sure they'll say that about game one when they played us. So uh, in these pressure environments, you got to make plays. Up next, we'll go to Robbie Falk. Coach, I guess if there's one – bright spot from this you had your bullpen uh, mostly intact for that game three all hands on deck do you know how that's going to shape out yet and who you might throw out there first no nah, I'll, I'll meet with the coaches we'll sit and do a little more scouting and then try to figure it out but like you said we pretty much have our bullpen available and um you know their guy gave them a great start tonight they'll have a good bit of theirs too up next we'll go to tyler horka yeah, Chris, just going off of what you just said, what was it about Aiden Tyrell that made him so good tonight? <clears throat> well, we, we couldn't stay off the ball down, you know, I, and you get to give him credit. We just, uh, you know, we continue to chase down. And most of his starts, he doesn't get a ton of strikeouts. Um, I mean, we, we just could not stay off that low pitch tonight. He did a really good job of mixing and pitching and um, had good stuff. I mean, his velo was a little more than we saw coming in, too. So I'm um, sure he was pretty a little juiced up, but he was, he was really good. Let's go back to Steve. Just as you know, these final 27 outs to get to Omaha, the, the, the most difficult ones of the year. I mean, so, you know, how, how do you feel like maybe some of your younger guys are managing, <clears throat> kind of managing the expectations and maybe the pressure of this moment? I think they're I just think we got outplayed. I, I love the way our guys went about their business tonight. Um, yeah, obviously we don't want to make errors, but um, we had good, some really good at-bats too, and they just made plays. And um, shoot, Cade Smith ran out there late, pitched good. And like I said, I just, you know, it's baseball. Um, you scratch it and you get ready to go the next day. And, and our kids will be ready. They're, they're, um, they, they've played in this environment all year. And we've kind of been in this Sunday game for a series a lot this year. And our kids have always responded. So I'm looking forward to seeing them play tomorrow. Up next, we'll go to Joe Coleman. Kind of, I guess, on the flip side of what Steve was asking, you, you, you go to, I, I guess, into the game tomorrow night with Rowdy and Tanner, of course, leading this team. And their career was kind of started with a lot of adversity back in 2018. And, and then you had, the, I guess, the COVID year last year. I mean, they faced a lot of adversity in their careers. How, how much comfort does that give you to know that you'll, you'll have those two out there with you? And, uh, of course, Hatch and, and some of those guys, too, have been through a lot of adversity in their careers. Yeah, it's a, uh, you know, as great as, the, as, as, great as the careers have been, um, it's, it's not always easy. When you play in the SEC, when you play here, you play so many great teams, you have to be able to bounce back. And one of our greatest qualities is we've bounced back. We've bounced back from a lot of things this year. And so those two guys and all the other seniors that have been around, they're a big part of that and they're a big reason for it. And um, like I said, we you know erase it from our memory and be able to go out there and play good baseball. And we've been playing good lately. So it'll be a, it'll be a fun day tomorrow. Up next, we'll go to Trey Mongrew. Chris, I'm sure the scouting report after they scored 50 runs in a regional last week showed a lot, but seeing them up close now for two days, uh, what is it about this Notre Dame offense that makes it so tough? Well, they're good, they're well coached, and they're hot. They're just hot at the right, you know, right time of the season. So, which most teams getting to the postseason are hot. So, um, but they're just a combination of all three, and they have a good plan, and they've hit some, you know, balls in big spots. And so, um, we got to pitch a little better and make a couple more plays, and then we got to match them. You know, yesterday we matched them offensively. We got to do that again tomorrow. 
VA, obviously you've been in this situation before, but, uh, you know, you have never not won a Super Regional. So it's important, obviously, for you to lead the guys. What's your, kind of your message to them to kind of flush us when we get ready to go tomorrow? No, you just said it the best way I can say it. we got to flush it, man. They could swing the bat, and they showed it tonight. So, uh, you know what, tonight's over with. We're not worried about it. We're, looking, we're already looking forward to tomorrow. Up next, we'll go to Joel Coleman. Tony, Steve kind of hit on it there a little bit, but, uh, I mean, your career basically started in a year in which you all played a game three in a Super Regional. A lot of adversity that year. Um, you guys have faced some adversity at times this year. And things just – what have you learned, I guess, over the course of your career, that, I guess, that prepares you guys and can help you prepare your teammates for tomorrow night? You know, I'm just going to tell them no matter what happens tomorrow, we got to keep playing. No matter what happened early in the game or late in the game, we just got to keep playing. Keep playing and play with each other and play for each other and uh, obviously keep the great crowd that we're going to have tomorrow because we had a great one tonight. I know there'll be a great one tomorrow. Just keep them in the game as well. Up next, we'll go to Robbie Falk. T.A. Yeah, came out of the gates. Roddy bangs that one off the wall for a triple. Then the next pitch, you get out there and hit a sacrifice fly. What happened, do you think, offensively the rest of the ball game? Was it something that you felt like Tyrell was doing right or the approach of the plate by the offense? Man, I think Tyrell had a great night. You know, he uh, he's a heck of a pitcher, man. Um, he mixed really well. For us left-handers, he kind of kept us off balance with the slider, and, and then uh, he'd throw the fastball when you weren't expecting it. And uh, so he had a great night, man. I tip my hat to him. But uh, like I said, we're moving on. We're already looking forward to tomorrow. Up next, we'll go to Patrick Engel. Yeah, Tanner, following up on that, how much of what Tyrell was uh, throwing you guys was similar to what you saw on video and film or? How, how much was kind of some things you didn't see or the pitches he didn't didn't throw as much on video but threw more tonight? Well, I think we had a scout report uh, nailed, man. Uh, just Obviously, his velocity was up because of the big crowd and his adrenaline was pumping. But uh, I think we had a great scout report and great, a great game plan. But he just he's just com a great competitor, man, and um, he really just shut us down all night long. And we can't change anything about that now. All we can do is look forward to tomorrow. Let's go back to Steve. Yeah, but at Barnes, something totally unforeseen. Tomorrow is your last game at Duty Noble Field, win or lose. Uh, what, what kind of emotions are you dealing with right now? Man, I just want to go out on a positive note, and um, everything else can just be on the back burner, to be honest with you. All I care about is a win. So uh, it's going to be a fun night tomorrow. Let's go to Robbie. Yeah, yesterday they made a couple of mistakes, and y'all really jumped on that. Today it, the, the script flipped a little bit, and – it just seemed like y'all couldn't catch a break either, even on some hard hit balls. How big of an effect do you think that was early in the game to have those mistakes and uh, for them to take advantage of that? It's baseball, man. It's just that's all plain and simple. It's baseball. You, we're going to make mistakes. This game is very hard to play, and uh, when you make mistakes, you got to keep moving forward, keep playing. We hit the ball hard all over the field tonight. Don't let anybody tell you that you know we just completely dominated us. Now we hit a lot of hard balls that just didn't fall our way tonight. That's baseball. We'll go back to Steve. Yeah, what will kind of be the schedule like, you know, the rest of the evening and kind of going into tomorrow? What will you guys do to kind of prepare yourselves for tomorrow and at the same time maybe get a little rest? Man, I'm, I'm going to go get something to eat and probably hang out with my family a little bit, get off my feet, probably watch a movie tonight and go to sleep and get ready for tomorrow.